Elsewhere, a Nairobi court hearing a murder case of a suspect in custody has today found a former Waraka OCS guilty of torturing the suspect to death. Nahashan Mutua will be sentenced on December 20th after the court found him guilty of inflicting bodily harm that led to the death of the deceased. Martin Kome was tortured on the night of December 19th, 2013. Our crimes and investigations reporter Brian Obuya tells us more. Nahashan Mutua made headline news five years ago when tension reigned in Nairobi County's Duaraka constituency at a time when it emerged that a suspect had died under unclear circumstances in the hands of police. Nahashan Mutua, who was at the time OCS Duaraka Police Station, brutally tortured the late Martin Kome by hitting him with a metal rod severally. A post-mortem report clearly showed that the deceased had several broken ribs, internal bleeding in the brain, a cut lip, and physical weakness. Kome had been arrested in Babadogo, Nairobi, of a domestic brawl. While in police cells, he was assaulted with a metal pipe and his head immersed in a drum of water. The prosecution had laid out a case on how the OCS on several occasions tried to cover up the murder. And this case is not based on circumstantial evidence, hence my omission to discuss some of the authorities in this judgment. Mutu had told the court that while on duty, he received the information that Martin Kome had been injured and directed that he be taken to hospital. Mutua told the court that Kome was beaten up by cellmates for noise making minutes after he was booked. On the other hand, the police officers who took him to Kenyatta National Hospital 20 hours later said he had been beaten by a mob. And for us, this, this, this is something very momentous because we see that from today there's been a change in the justice system. Um, today, a man's dignity has been returned to him posthumously. Today, victims of these same police officers have started to see the beginning of justice. In the trial that has lasted five years, the court was further told Kome had a swollen face, he had deep cuts, and that his wife could not even recognize him. The first step into covering up the heinous murder in the hands of a protector of life and property was to frame another suspect in police custody, Kevin Odhiambo. Odhiambo for five months stood trial for a murder he did not commit. And something that um, has uh, reverberated with this decision is that it is possible to hold police accountable uh, for misconduct and for abusing their power. Justice has finally been served. There has been five years full of misery, pain, fear, but at last now we are happy. As a family we are happy. In her ruling, Justice Mutuku found that the OCS misused his authority under the Constitution and ordered that a probation report be prepared before Mutua's sentencing, which comes on the 20th of this December. The prosecution has proved all the ingredients of murder to the satisfaction of the requirements of the law. I hereby reject the defense of the accused, National Mutua, and proceed to find him guilty of murder as charged and enter conviction accordingly. From the onset, murder it was, and murder it is. Nahashan Mutua becomes the first high-ranking police officer to be convicted of murder in a country where impunity runs within and without the police service that is often accused of extrajudicial executions and forced disappearances. Brian Obuya, KTN News.